because uh, the people of Mwende were up in arms against Pineti for not constructing a road between Mwende and Sembaule. And Ivan, in his WhatsApp message, asked me, what can we do to stop this woman to ever put her hand on any public contract? You are now revealing private chats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as, as a journalist, you're not supposed to reveal sources. <laughs> no, 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 this is not damaging. <laughs> and actually, this is not a... So it was a conversation that I thought actually the public can benefit from. Mm -hmm. So when Ivan asked me what can we do, my answer was very simple. Remove Museven. Make sure his son, <laughs> make sure his son doesn't succeed him. You you send that to Ivan. Yes, I so do. that was no work done. <clears throat> because you see, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not him who was saying. So I am the one who was advising him that for this to end, we need to go to the road. You see, people can pretend the trouble with the public debate in Uganda is that they pick something small and the whole week and the whole month. That is the debate. In my article in Monta, I said the <clears throat> every year we pass a budget where Mr. Museven has a 150 billion, 140 for donation. Money he puts in envelope and walks with the staff who are, Ivan, tell me, if it is Museven who walks to the bank to withdraw that money, please tell me. No, but it will, the money to use it to him. Does it make it right? That's the point. So, if M7 has 140 billion for donation, he, he also has another 83 billion classified expenditure at his residence where he stays with his wife because the children have gone away. 83. I don't know what is classified between M7 and his wife at their residence. The, the, 83. The president's residence. You had your time. You had your time. No, he has his office, which also has other amount. If you want, I will tell you. President. It is another point. <clears throat> and I, I want the public to understand. You can lynch all of us. Me, I am ready. And I'm not saying what is happening at Parliament is right. But people must understand, and, and that's the point Alinda was making, understand how did these things come to be. Or the point, or the point uh, Xavier was making, yeah. that uh, it is rampant all over, not not just Parliament. You see, first, before I forget... But mm. that is what about <clears throat> is. Before mm. I forget, mm. the most difficult process to deal with uh, at Parliament is budgeting. Many of the MPs don't read the details, but also some of the details are not readily provided. I try. Last, that's why last year I had issues. When I said we are going to spend money on Museveni's clothes this amount every day, even MPs were shocked. It's not possible. Because to read the item by item, uh, and you disaggregate 45 trillion shilling to know which money is going for onion and tomato, you really need to be a very serious leader. I try, I cannot uh, classify myself as a serious <coughs> leader. But back to the point. Because Museven has money for donation, uh, 2013, Museven's budget was 60 billion shilling. He came back for 132 billion in a supplementary. During the, the, the meetings, State House Controller told Parliament that for every public outreach that Mr. Museven makes, when you see him on the road going to Ibanda, he spends 2.4 billion per day. I did ask questions in my article because of the government hierarchy. Mm -hmm. If number one is, spawn, is spending 2.4 billion per day, why do you in a Ugandan setup want number three to spend? Mm -hmm. Because that's a structure that you have built. All the bad manners start with him seven and end with him. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, listen, mm -hmm. because you need this information. This money for... for Corporate social responsibility started as one billion in Parliament under Kadaga. It grew to eight under Kadaga because the the, the 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 exhibition has found an ongoing fights in the opposition in the NRM. So the leakage is also deliberate. That's why, as Linda said, you will not go back to Kadaga. I don't see the deputy speaker there. So you guys who have your own fights now, ha, you, are, you are directing the, 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 the country to debate only the speaker and maybe my brother Mpuga, as if when you deal with both of them, the problem will go away. 
we will need to go back and restock him. That's why I told you, until you have removed Museven and, and made sure that his son doesn't take over, because he has also learned bad manners. The other day he was in a, when he went to Tesla, he went with one of the vehicles in his convoy was full of money. That's why part of the content of his speech at Herar is that don't go away, there is food. Where does a military man get the money to serve a whole rally? He went with money full in a vehicle. So these bad manners of Mr. Museven is what now we are reaping as a country. You can fault Anita Mong. Any other speaker, because you will not have a speaker of parliament going to the bank to withdraw money for corporate social responsibility. And I'll tell you, can I tell you, Ivan, in my constituents, the invitation is to the speaker to go and preside over churches and mosques because they know she will donate money. I can tell you, people who say, Muju, why don't you invite for us the speaker to be the guest of honor? And if she ever publishes a list of where donations have gone to churches, to schools, to what? You want to you, you, you will shut up. So the point for me, Oscar, I make is that uh, structure now, even if you have a budget, I mean a parliamentary exhibition every week and every year, without changing the structure, you are in trouble. This cannot change. A head of state has a budget at his residence, 140 billion donation, 83 billion shilling classified expenditure. And I have, I have been dealing with it. So people who are under seven, I argued in, in Monitor, is that because they are also looking at the percentages. So if number one is taking this, I will take this. That's why with his 63 convoy vehicle, the speaker now has 10. The vice president has this number. My friend Nabanja has uh, eight. The ministers now have three. So we are where Nigeria was at one time. I, I, I saw a, 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 a governor. His wife had three vehicles and the governor himself had 12. So that's where progressively we are going. And you will not stop it. I have told you, before Kadaga left parliament, she had even ordered for a helicopter. Eventually they say, no, 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 Kadaga is now starting to look like a president. Maybe she can use the one of police. So this bad man has, is not limited to Anita Mong. This, bad, this is how NRM people operate. And you can only, the solution is... Is, is it true she had ordered for it? Yes, it was in the budget. Yes. I sit in, on the budget committee. In the budget? Yes. yes. Museven had to call for a meeting and say, no, no, the chopper, okay, we can give you the one of police, but don't procure. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the budget. If you want, I can bring you documents here. And, and I said in my article in Monday that actually Inter Mongo is a bad student. Kadaga was learning very quickly how to do things the Museven way. So you don't just stop at vehicles. You even buy yourself a helicopter. So I, I, I don't understand that everybody has to be angry. But the anger must be directed to where it should be. And that's where the solution should begin from. So the moment you accepted Museven to, lead, to live the way he lives with his children. Museven, his wife, has a convoy of about 40 vehicles. The, the son has a, also, I mean, you will see Mohoz, a, a serving military officer. The other day he was in, a, in, a, in a moment. He came with a, a chopper. He also came with a convoy. Clearly. So if you want to reach, everybody must be lynched. That's where the solution will be will come from. But to isolate and deal with parliament, yes, you can deal with parliament. It is legitimate. And I think parliament and the parliamentary leadership, we need to reflect on the figures that have been published. Parliament also need to, some sort of a retreat to go and deal with this. But this is just a symptom. Mm -hmm. And I agree with him who said now corruption is, is everywhere. So I think we are at a, the patient is, is, is terminally ill. Either you, 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 I don't know whether you will make the referral to. <laughs> because, I mean, this thing has, every year we deal with the budget, I have said so. That you guys, these amounts are here. Trouble with many MPs don't read. He was asking that, uh, did the MPs pass this? They did. Did they know? They didn't know. Why? They don't read. And that's not about to go away. Because the budget of parliament is, is brought to the committee on legal. I sit there. It is taken to the budget committee. And eventually it ends up with the whole parliament sitting and passing in. So no MP should express ignorance anywhere. They should just blame themselves for not reading. So these amounts are there. Corporate social responsibility. They did not start with Anita Mongo. They were there. Kadaga was doing the same thing. She visits a school, she donates uh, 50. She visits another, she donates 150. To, so to stop it, deal with them seven, deal with them seven family, 
and change and have a new pair of human resource. The moment you maintain this one, even if you take there another person who's not a leader but tomorrow. You even you opposition leaders, if we were to look into how much you spend, if your leaders, the, 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 the leaders. That's, that's why I said that maybe we should, only that's why I said we should all be linked. Yes, it's yeah. not just to because change. Because if you go to the parties, even the parties receive money, I'm not sure that they, they account to the satisfaction. Thank you. But the, this environment under which we work, so I, my demand is that we need to have, maybe you, Linda, you should become the leader of opposition in the next <laughs> parliament, and all of us get out, and then we, 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 we provide a solution. Mm. Because you can't stop at talking. No. Please offer okay. yourselves. <coughs> She's a Arinda. Arinda, yes. Uh, the, 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 the first name is Jacqueline. Yes, they tell off herself. Mm. You come and lead the opposition. Action aid becomes the aid of government business and you improve the situation. Yeah. Honorable Abdul Katundu, did you get 50 million this week? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that's a redundant question. <laughs> First of all, I'm sure, the allegation is I'm here sure. on, on Twitter. Twitter. It's mm. redundant. I don't know how many MPs, if that ever happened, mm. would you say I received it? No. So I would rather we ask useful questions. <laughs> <laughs> However, I didn't get it. Having said that, mm. Oscar, let me first answer the two point, uh, uh, this newspaper story of Monitor, the 2.6 billion every day. What the Monitor did was to get the entire budget of Parliament then divide it by 365 yeah. days. Mm -hmm.